walks in tune never returns small hand says hours divide and spread equal showers middle hand is four minutes all can run for infinite second hand says rhymes moves in the hour 60 times equal time can everyone found all clock needles move round and round hello dear students of class third dear students today from your maths world i will teach you about a clock and how to draw a clock students this is a clock even you have a clock at your home yes today i will explain the basics of a clock students the face of a clock is divided into 12 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 students what's on top it's 12 and what's just under it it's 6 now let's count the hands in it it's 1 2 and 3 so students these hands tell us about what yes they tell us about hours minutes and seconds it's an hour hand and it's a minute hand and it tell us about minutes and this thin and long hand tell us about seconds a minute hand completes one rotation in one hour and our hand takes one hour to reach from one number to another number so students what you have observed here yes that all the hands moves in a same direction now come let's learn to draw a clock and also get information related to it look at this piece of paper we can take any piece of paper and can draw a circle on it with the help of compass or any circular object and then cut it like this with scissor dear student come let's learn to make a clock from it on the face of a clock at equal distance numbers are written from 1 to 12 students each part between two numbers is divided into five equal parts now come let's see the important parts of a clock it is the hour hand small and thick which moves slowly and tell us about hours it is the minute hand which is longer than the hour hand and moves faster than the hour hand and it is the second hand which is thin and long and it moves fastest among the three hands students seconds minutes and hours are that units which are used to measure time dear students like this the face of a clock is divided into 60 equal parts the time taken by our hand to reach from one number to another number is same as the time taken by the minute hand to complete one rotation and second hand completes 60 rotations in that time period and dear students now it's turn for your homework in same way you have to make a clock and from it you get information about time thanks we'll meet in the next video